All right, guys, Homer from Basement Figs here, Elgin, Illinois, Zone 5B. I got the plate out, so that means uh, we're going to do a tasting. But before we get to reward ourselves, we're going to do something um, on our little orchard here. We're going to do a uh, fig culling. We're going to take out some of the little figs that aren't going to be able to ripen by the end of the season. Again, just to force that energy uh, to try to get the rest of the crop to ripen. So stay tuned. It's gonna be kind of also a mini tour of my orchard, see what kind of plants I got growing back here. All right, guys, um, follow along. We'll start here in the first row. Uh, we got the Vasilika Sika. This is the one that we're gonna to pick today. As you can see, it is soft to the touch. It's ready. Any figs to call? Doesn't look like it. Teramu is our next one. Doesn't look like it. Improved Celeste. We got nothing. The Italian 258. Nothing. Smith. We got one little figlet here. Just cut that off. Okay. Here we got the improved Celeste. Uh, there's a lot of little figlets here. So, but with improved Celeste, it ripens so fast that you guys see that. They're so small, it's hard to focus. But um, for this calling video, I'm gonna actually leave this improved Celeste. It, it ripens so fast once they get to this size. All of a sudden, let me give you a better view. Like this size fig right here, all of a sudden it'll just turn and then it'll ripen like within a day or two. So we're just gonna see how long this improved Celeste goes just for experiment um in zone 5b okay next one here is we have the cold Nam noir um we got a little figlet here up in the top that we're gonna cut off i don't know if you guys can see that let's just cut that off any other ones here's another bump okay here is my Ronde Bordeaux this one has some figs getting ready we got some little figlets we got some little figlets as you can see I'm just gonna leave this one this one as well as an experiment uh, I've been told I've been told that uh, Ron Bordeaux Randy Bordeaux uh, ripens relatively fast but uh, if you experts out there know and think I should clip them let me know all right so that is the full first row, okay? Second row, we have my Bonza Chicago Hardy, San Miguel Roxo. Uh, we got some to call here up in the top. I don't know if you can see that. Okay. I'll try to do my best to clip it while I'm holding the phone. Okay. I'm okay with the leaf falling off. Here's another little figlet on the Miguel Roxo. Okay. 
This one is the Borgia So. Uh, I think this is the Borgia So Grease. Yep, Borgia So Grease. We got a lot of small piglets that we're gonna call on this one. So, I don't know if you can see that. Another one. There's another one. I don't know if I can get an angle on it. Let me try the other side. So here's a uh, one down here. These ones are not gonna make it at all. So I'm just gonna clip them off. Here's another node up here. Okay, and here's another one down here. Okay, here's another one. There we go. All right. We also got this little nub coming out. Just gonna cut that off. Okay. Oh, here's, uh, I see some on my, actually here's some little ones on this, um, San Miguel Rock, so that I didn't catch the first time, so we'll call that. Here's another one, so then we'll leave those ones to see if we can get them to ripen. Okay, next one here. Next one here is the Fago Preto. We got a Almost right big. We're gonna see um, again if we can get any of these ones to ripen. Here's my second Smith. So this one has a bunch of little figlets that we're gonna just clip off. Another one. Another little figlet. Okay. That would remind me to do something too on my first smith here. Um, I'm just gonna remove all these leaves up to this uh, dying leaf here. Um, it's starting to wilt on a couple of these bottom leaves um these leaves have probably been here since uh early december my ac just kicked on so um i'm gonna try to talk a little bit louder here i'm just clipping off these bottom leaves To this dying leaf here so all right it's starting to look like a a real tree there guys all right back to the second row this one here is moro de caneva with a little figlet um hmm i'm just gonna see I know it's super early fig, so let's just give it a try. Here we have um, Violet de Bordeaux. So 
So we got a little figlet here. We're gonna trim off. Uh, this tree has been surprisingly slow for me. So I don't know if it's slow for you guys as well, but Violet de Bordeaux. We got the Black Celeste here coming up next. Let me actually switch angles. There we go. We got the Black Celeste. Uh, we got some figlets forming. I don't know if you guys can see that. But uh, for, they're just too small right now to clip off. But I'll, I will be clipping these off. Next we have here is the Black Sandar. These ones will not be able to make it in time. I'm not sure what I pressed there, but I think my video stopped. But here's the Black Sandar. I hope I caught most of the other stuff. I don't know if you guys can, I can get a view with such a small figlet. But yeah, there's one here I'm trimming. And then these ones are figlets as well, but too small. To even get on camera okay so that's the black zendar this one is the desert king uh, being that I am nowhere near the fig wasp all of these figs don't even matter for us so we're just gonna trim them off and and continue focusing on getting it shaped up for next season. All right, so that's the second row here, guys. Then my final row, we have another Smith tree. So we've got some figs in the bottom here and no other figs figlets on the top here we have the martineca ramada we have some small figlets we're going to call away okay then we have the long de out um these ones hopefully will be able to ripen in time uh, here's another long D out, almost ready to ripen. I don't think this top one's gonna make it, this one here, but we'll leave it just for experiment. This one here is my San Biagio. Um, really excited about this. I don't know if these are gonna ripen, but uh, the reason I got this uh, variety, it was said to taste like uh, cherries. And um, I'm a huge fan of cherries. So uh, these ones I can probably clip because they're too small. I'm going to clip. Actually, for testing purpose, I'm just going to leave that. So... We have a gift from Amy here. This is a Borgeso Noir. She gave me a cutting when I bought the book. So you can see the roots going. I tucked it back here. We're in a little bit of a heat wave in um, mid early September. You can see some of the leaves are getting crispy. So kind of hiding it behind these pots. All right, so that's the orchard. 
We got some side projects going on here. We have a raspberry latte. We have, this is actually a red uh, Lebanese Becca Valley. This is a Verdino del Nord that I am reju uh, rejuvenating and actually growing the cuttings inside. I'll explain that in another video. So that's that. And then if we walk, so if we walk to the other side of my house, You know what? I got my dog Coco. I, I need to start introducing Coco every time I do my video intros. Right, Coco? Come here, Coco. Come here. Okay. Side project here in the shade. We have um, San Miguel Roxo uh, air layer. Um, again, we're going to leave these figlets. Plants doing good. We got a improved Celeste air layered here. Okay. And then over here we have our newest uh, plant, the Fagoin. Okay. So again, this is kind of like my little hideaway from the sun. This area barely gets any sun during, except for the late day, early morning. Coco. All right, guys. So that's uh, the calling video. Pretty easy and a little tour. So here's my Chicago Hardy. All right, it's loaded up with figs. I know. I hope you guys have been following along. I should probably call this tree with all these little figlets, but I want to go taste that Vasilika Sika, guys. Um, the first one, this would be my second one for the season. Um, the first one was amazing. Um, it beat out a Smith um, and only second to my Italian 258. Vasilika Sika. Um, super hard. And the one that we're going to pick, super soft, even to the neck. So, I'm going to try to do this with one hand and clip it off here. Vasilika. Okay, uh, for the sake of this video, I don't know if, if I'm in it or not. Um, my AC's on. Again, I don't want to have to do the captions. So I hope you guys can hear me. Uh, again, we have the Vasilika Sika. Really soft. all soft all the way up to the neck crackling all around open eye really soft there i think that was uh, leaning against my pvc trellis system so all right guys uh we're gonna cut this open Doesn't that look amazing? 
うんしますしますウォッシュです See if I can get you a close up All right, guys. So I'm gonna start a new.、Uh, I'm gonna start my own、uh, scoring system, and I think the easiest way to do it is what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just say Chicago Hardy on a five-point scale. A Chicago Hardy is a two-point-five, right?、Uh, pretty much anyone that gets into figs,、uh, cold weather, hot weather,、uh, they have a Chicago Hardy. So that will be kind of like the baseline. For what all these other figs are gonna taste like, okay? So Chicago Hardy,、um, two point five, middle of the scale. Let's say my best fig right now that I tasted was an Italian two fifty eight. So we don't want to give anything too high of a score because this is our first year growing. So let's just say a four point five. So four and above is top tier. Three is middle tier. Uh, Chicago Hardy 2.5, just because it's a baseline. That number can always adjust later. But for starting this、uh, scoring system, Chicago Hardy for basement figs is a 2.5. All right. So now that we got that cleared up, we got the Vesalica Sica. I'm not really familiar with、um, origins or what kind of figs. I'm pretty sure this is a Asiatic fig. Since it's only me, what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna enjoy, and instead of cutting it in quarters, I'm gonna just eat it in halves. I, I really enjoy eating figs straight from the tree. I don't even like cutting it. For some reason, when you take a fig and you and you break it open, and you see the surprise inside, and you just bite into it, I think nothing can beat that experience. But for the tasting videos, we'll split it up. All right, guys. Vasilika Sika. Yeah. Um. So. Lots of sea crunch. Um. Has uh the sweetness. Of um. The Italian two fifty eight. Jelly doesn't melt in your mouth as much as the Italian two fifty two fifty eight. Skin is thicker, more chewed to it. Classic. Big skin taste. Nothing standing out to me. All right, second half. Let's see if I can get some more adjectives out there. Hmm, that bite was good. Like almost candy-like. Like a candy gumdrop. You want to try it, Coco? Oh, Coco! Go eat it. No. Don't waste it, Coco. No, Coco doesn't like it. Okay. So sorry about that. Um. Tastes like candy. Really like candy. Like this, that bite. This bite is like almost like、uh, biting into a gummy bear, strawberry gummy bear. Pulpy, but not like overly pulpy. Solid fig. I think the first one I had of the season. 
um, caught me off guard because I had a Smith before it, and the my my Smith, uh, it wasn't bad, but you know with all the rage on, everyone has to have a Smith. It was just okay, and I know uh, it's my first year. Uh, the Smith, I've been told, gets a lot better the second or the third. But um, so then I had a Smith, then I had the Vasilika Sika, and I was expecting the Vasilika Sika to be nowhere near uh, Smith level, and it was better than Smith. So that's what caught me off guard. So Chicago Hardy is a 2.5, uh, uh, Italian 258 is a 4.5 on my scale. I would rate the Vasilika Sika a 4.2. Um, I thought I was gonna rate it like a 4.4, um, but 4.2 guys uh, on the Vasilika Sika. Again, uh, we got a Teremu tasting coming up. We got our first Fago Preto uh, tasting coming up. Uh, I appreciate the love support guys. This is Homer from Basement Figs, uh, Elgin, Illinois, uh, Zone 5B. Peace, thanks guys. Uh, I'll catch you in the next video.